Well, hello there, and welcome back to another glorious video on the Over the Giant Tree YouTube channel. That's me! Okay, so, very recently I put out a tweet and a community post asking for some wonderful questions for this little Q&A video I'm doing, which is the one you're watching right now. I got some good responses, I didn't expect this to get this many, so I've had to had to cut some questions out, but yeah, I've included, um, I'm not sure how many questions we're going to get through. I don't know if I'll be able to do both Twitter and community tab. We'll, we'll see, I guess. Just saying like, hey, I could do Q and A's now and I'll probably do some more of these in the future. So if people are interested, then leave a like on the video. Maybe if you've got some questions you'd like me to answer in another Q and A video, put those in the comments and uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll hop into this, this first ever over the giant tree Q and A. Very epic. So my first question is from a good friend of mine, Versity, a fellow mercenary, fellow Mercs YouTube guy, fella. Any video there you just love to do but can't? Like something Mr. Beast esque or that involves a lot of people? Uh, now this is a it's a particularly good question as there are indeed video ideas that I would like to do but I just don't have the resources to do. And those are things such as um, you have five minutes to spend a thousand keys or something, something along those lines for a TF2 video. Um, so I basically get 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 viewers in, and I say here's like say 100 keys or whatever, 50 keys, buy what you want. You've got five minutes, and if they go over 50 keys or whatever, they don't get what they they want. But if they manage to get you know 50 keys or under, I'm not saying it would be 50 keys. That's just the benchmark. Then they uh, they get their items. But one, I don't have the money for that, um, so I can't do that. But another video would be um, like, I get a server, um, we do some cool server ideas. You guys hop on the server, when it's a full server we have, we create some mayhem. But I don't have the resources for that either. So, right now, there, there's a, there are video ideas that I've got, but I just can't do at the moment. So yes, there are definitely some video ideas out there. And I've just exposed one of them for someone that may have a lot more money than me can do them. And uh, then, I'm in, then I'm in the mud. But, but yeah. Those are some ideas I have. Okay, so they've got three questions here from Mr. Ed Pug himself. One of these questions I've actually received a lot, so I'm going to focus on that a bit later. But first off, when did you start doing YouTube and what made you start? Well, um, I've actually been doing YouTube a long, long time. Maybe too long, some might say. But I started in 2012, so it's been, what, almost nine years. And what made me start was just um, this YouTube channel called The Yogscast. Um, you may have heard of them, especially from the UK and uh, ha were a fan of Minecraft when it was really popping in the early days. Um, they basically made Minecraft content and got very big off of it. And yeah, one of their series in particular, the Tech It series, was what inspired me and a couple of friends to actually want to make YouTube videos and do similar videos to what they were doing. Obviously we were very naive back then, back in 2012, I was like 11, 12 years old. So yeah, we were very naive of what it took to make YouTube videos, but I stuck with it. The other two weren't really fussed, I guess, because they, they stopped doing making videos. But it's been something that I've really enjoyed doing. So while we did originally start to make videos like the Yogscast, I've kind of evolved my content throughout the years into stuff that I'm just happy to produce, happy to make, having fun doing it. Um, I don't really care if I make money from it. I just want to make fun videos that I hope other people enjoy as much as I enjoy making them. So that's basically what I'm doing now. And uh, what do I plan on my channel for the future? Just continue doing what I'm doing, you know, keep making TF2 videos. If there's a game out that I really enjoy, then I'll make videos on that. But recently, there have not been many games out that I've actually really enjoyed, apart from, say, like, Fortnite. But Fortnite was 2018, so since then, there haven't really been that many games that I've been like, ooh, I really need to fucking play. Um, obviously, I do, like, live streams, so I'll probably I'll probably stream some of those games, you know, turn them into a Twitch Charlotte's video or something. But really, for my channel, I just continue making videos I enjoy really there's not really anything big that I've got planned for the future really actually tell a lie there's one video that if I can plan and get together I think it's gonna be a banger um, and it's, I'm really looking forward to actually hopefully hopefully making that if I can pull it together how I want to pull it together it's all in this head and I'm not not saying until you know I've actually like started or or recorded it because I don't want to let anyone down uh, so Bino has asked my opinion on this wonderful image here i assume it's of his medic loadout um with the strange face cosmetic i believe i don't know what it's called um yeah <laughs> it's it sure is something it sure is so he's kind of staring into my soul um 
Yeah, it's a bit cursed. It's a, it's a bit cursed, Beano. Less of that, please. Matt asks why. I, I don't know, man. I wish I could tell you why, but I've, I've got no idea. Where did the name Over the Giant Tree come from? Now, I've had I've seen this question been asked quite a few times by multiple different people, so I'm just going to answer that one question here. Over the Giant Tree, basically, I used to be called Malice Cast Elliot because we, were, we wanted to do the Malice Cast, you know. Didn't work out, clearly. Um, so I felt, you know, I should rebrand. Um, and I felt that Over the Giant Tree was a good name. I was inspired by In the Little Wood, uh, a fellow YouTuber. So I kind of flipped In the Little Wood and turned it Over the Giant Tree. I think it's a pretty, pretty cool name. And then I've since shortened that to OTGT, which can stand for OTGT or can stand for Over the Giant Tree, really. I, I don't really care. You know, I, I don't mind going by Over the Giant Tree, OTGT, whatever you want to call me. Dude the Ninja, what are my honest opinions on his content, Warpaint Classic and the Beep Man? If you're not following Dude the Ninja, you probably should because he makes some very cool mods for TF2 and also makes some pretty cool videos with these mods and stuff he's done. So your content, very good, very unique stuff. I really enjoy watching it. You've made some great mods and some great content. I'm not sure if by content you mean your mods and your YouTube stuff or just one or the other, but I'm taking it as both. And I do like both. I, I really enjoy seeing what mods you produce. Your um, Fortnite ports are very cool, very funny, seeing uh, some people in the community getting riled up that you're putting Fortnite stuff in TF2. But personally, I think it's very cool. And as well as your LEGO universe, I believe it is, or just LEGO mods in general, I also like them a lot because big fan of LEGO. So keep up the good work on those fronts and your, con your videos as well, and they're pretty funny, showcasing your mods and whatnot. So yeah, keep it up, dude the ninja. Very cool guy. Warpaint Classic, something I support greatly. I do believe every weapon in TF2 should be uh, warpainted, and that includes the Classic. I do think the Classic could have some very cool warpaints on it. Um, so yeah, Valve, what, what, what are you waiting for? Just give the Classic a warpaint, please. We need it. And the Beatman, Beatman also very cool, very nice OC. Yeah, he's, he's a very recognizable um, symbol of you. If I see the Beatman, I know it's Dude the Ninja. Very cool. So yeah, keep up the great work, man. Love it. Choose apple trees or orange trees. Now, I'm assuming this is because I'm over the giant tree. But what tree would I be over? What giant tree would I be over? Hmm. Now, I'm not really a fan of oranges, personally. Orange juice is nice, but that's about it. Now, apples, apples are very uh, versatile because, you know, they can be turned into a cider. A lovely recorder league cider. Very you know, also, I like, I, I like munching an apple. Red apples are pretty poggers. Green apples also pretty cool. So, I think... I think it's going to have to be apple trees, if we're in talking in terms of trees. It's going to have to be the apple tree. What weapon or weapons would I want to own the most? Ooh. Now this is a tough question because there is one item in TF2, well one weapon in TF2, that I would really like to own, but it is hella expensive and I don't think I will ever be able to afford it in my my uh, career, my TF2 career. Um, but that is an Australian flamethrower, all right? That's not too expensive, you know? Well, it is expensive, but it's not like that expensive compared to some items out there. Professional kill streak, Australian flamethrower with the spell that makes your fire green. That, you know the one? That's the, that, that one, yeah. That that spell. Um, I don't really care about other spells, but as for the uh, uh, professional kill streak effect, to be fair, I'm not too fussed on what effect the professional kill streak kit is. Ideally, it'd be the hot rod color or um, deadly daffodil. If I could choose the effect, it'd either be hypno beams or fire horns, because I think those are two of the coolest um, professional kill streak effects out there. Um, yeah, I'm not fussed what color really hot rod or deadly daffodil would be ideal, but they don't really matter. Neither does the effect, but those are two effects I think would be really sick to have on an Australian flamethrower. And yeah, that I think that is the item I'd like to have the most. Um, we'd put the strange part allies extinguished on there and uh, maybe players hit, I think. I think that'd be perfect. That'd be the perfect item for me to own, which I realistically might be able to own, but probably not. If we're talking items that don't exist, Australian flame, Australian shotgun, that'd be cool. That'd be pretty cool. Professional kill streak, Australian flamethrower with allies extinguished and players hit and the bloody green flames spell that's that's the one but that'd be hella expensive so if i just get an australian flamethrower i would be happy enough because that that is my dream weapon essentially the spells they don't really matter because they are hella pricey so to ko wilson asks how am i doing uh, i'm doing i'm just doing now nah, i'm doing pretty good now that uni's ended you know i've got a lot more free time i can just 
exist without worrying about having to do uni work. So that's pretty nice. Uh, get to see my girlfriend a lot, which is very cool. Very, very big fan of that. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Why is Toxic Chappers my Steam name? This is a little bit of a, a tale. I've seen this asked quite a bit as well. This is from, you did ask a few other questions, but I feel like this one is the most relevant to the Q&A, so I'm going to focus on this one. My Steam name is Toxic Chaffers because it used to be my Xbox 360 gamer tag, and I use it on a few other games like GTA and whatnot. So I'm called Toxic Jaffers because back in the day, back, back in the day when Modern Warfare 2 was out, um, I didn't have an Xbox 360, but my friend did, and I went around to their house to play some split-screen multiplayer Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Um, and no, it wasn't split-screen. It was we went online basically, and one of the people that he had on his friends list was called Toxic Waffles. And now I was like, oh shit, this is a really cool name, and I really wanted an Xbox 360 because it's like the first proper time I experienced it. Um, so I was like, shit, right? I need anything for gamer tag. Uh, so I liked Jaffa Cakes, so I decided to call myself Toxic Jaffas, and that is where that Steam name came from, from a game of Modern Warfare 2 I played with a friend, round of friends. Toxic Jaffas, from then on out, was my go-to name. And then of course, Over the Giant Tree for my YouTube channel, I did debate changing it to Toxic Jaffas, but I feel like Over the Giant Tree, OGGT, is much better for my YouTube channel, where Toxic Jaffas can just be my Steam name, my Xbox gamer tag, or whatever. So yeah, that is where Toxic Jaffas came from. I think I think that's all the questions, yes. Okay, so there was only only had the time to answer ten questions, I don't want this video to be too long. Um so yeah. I hope you've enjoyed this QA. I'm not really used to doing these type of videos, so I'm, I'm I hope my answers were great. I, I feel like I've answered these questions to the best of my ability. I know I missed some questions that people asked on YouTube specifically. I'm sorry I didn't get to those, but I don't want this video to be like half an hour, twenty minutes long. So yeah, I hope you did enjoy this Q&A. It's the first one I've ever done. So please go easy on me. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe down below. That'd be much appreciated. Um, I probably will do more of these in the future if people have questions they want answered. You know, comment them down below. Or follow me on Twitter, at Over the Giant Tree, and uh, turn on tweet notifications so you can see when I next tweet out. Or just have post notifications on for me and then I can post it in the community tab and uh, hopefully answer more of your questions from there. So yeah. This has been my first ever Q&A. Big, big thank you to anyone who asked me a question. Did not expect the amount of questions that I did receive. So thank you very much for that. I hope you have enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, all that jazz. And yeah, I shall see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Peace. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch can feel took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy my just money dance. Yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand.